Hey guys, please welcome to my channel. This will be covering marginal costing and absorption costing. If you question, of course, to get hold of this exam technique. So first of all, of course, the important thing is the requirement. Uh, oh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe below so that you don't miss out on the future videos that will be shown. So the requirement is we preparing cost card and set out the budget profit statements for the month of April under both marginal and absorption costing. Then we reconcile the profits at the end. Because when we have been movement in inventory, then we're expecting to have some differences between the absorption costing and the marginal costing profit. So now we have read the requirement let's go through the question so monofield's ltd positions for these desks each desk is budgeted to require okay of wood at three multi per kg or hours of labor at two multi per hour and variable production overheads of five multi per unit the fixed production overheads are budgeted at twenty thousand multi per month an average production estimated at 10,000 units per month. The selling price is fixed at 35 maluti per unit. Then we also have a variable selling cost of 1 maluti per unit and a fixed selling cost of 2,000 maluti per, per month. So for the month of April, that means LTD expects the following levels of activity. So we're expecting to produce 11,000 units and to sell 9,000 units. So that already shows that we're expecting something like 2,000 units to be left in invent. So now let's go ahead. I've already included some form of our workings here. So let me, let me just unhide. Let me just unhide and see our things here. So that is absorption. Let's unhide, unhide all. Oh, okay, yep, here you are. So let's start with cost cut for both. Then from there, we'll go to income statement of either one. So let's just start with absorption costing. So, material, how much is our material per unit? So, we're seeing that each unit requires 4 kg of material and this wood is 3 per kg. So that means it's 12 maluti per unit. Now labor is 4 hours at 2 per hour. So that means per unit we're going to spend 8 maluti per, per hour. So now also the variable overheads. Variable overheads is 5 per unit. So straightforward. Then about the fixed overheads. The information about the fixed overhead. Uh, the budget is 20,000 per month and the average production is 10,000 units. It's 20,000 then for 10,000 units. So fixed overhead is 2 maluti per unit. So now let's get our cost. Your cost is 27 maluti per unit. Selling price we're giving us 35. So standard profit is going to be 35 minus 27 is 8 per unit. So now let's go to the marginal costing cost card. Material is going to be the same 12, labor 8, variable of 5. But now with marginal costing, we're only interested in the marginal cost. That is an extra cost that you're going to incur for each additional unit that we produce. So marginal cost is 25. The difference is the portion of fixed overheads that is being absorbed into absorption costing. So the ceiling price is 35. So the our marginal cost is minus 25. Variable ceiling cost is minus 1. So our standard profit here is is nine and baby. So now let's uh, we have our cost card. 
So now I think let's start with absorption costing to produce the profit statement. So that means we will hide from here for marginal costing. So we have our income statement sales. So many of you sold. We have sold 9,000 units. Each at 35. Opening inventory, we don't have any opening. Our material is we produced 11,000 units. And material cost is 12 per unit as shown here. So labor still 11,000 units. Our labor cost is 8 per unit. So variable overhead, variable overhead is five malut per unit. So fixed overhead is two per unit. So we have two ninety seven. So then we list our closing inventory. So our closing inventory. Is going to be 2,000 units because we produced 11,000 and then we have sold 9,000 units. So it means we have 2,000 units. And of course, we have to value using this cost of 27. So we having, yeah, giving this. So let's see, let's see, let's see. So we have this less closing in between 243,000. Then our standard profit will be our sales less our cost of sales. So our standard profit is 72,000. Then we adjust for over or under absorption. So under under absorption costing, you, you will remember that we have over or under absorption because first of all, we have our predetermined overhead absorption rate, which will may be different from the one actually we get. So our actual overhead were 20,000, then absorb this 22,000. So that means we have over or under of how much? So we absorbed we absorb 20,000, actual was, actually is 20,000. That means our we have to adjust this two thousand to our profit. Now the actual cost profit is actually going to be how much? Seventy thousand plus this, so it's going to be this seventy four thousand. And now after having adjusted for this over and or under absorption, then we're going to detect our selling costs in the variable and the fixed. So variable less. The selling cost is one month per unit for variable and then 2000 per month for fixed. So, variable is we have sold, we have sold 9000 units and it is one month. So, fixed is 2000. So our actual net profit is going to be the this cost profit less this two. It's going to be sixty-three thousand. This is going to be our net profit under under absorption costing, which I think it makes sense. And now let's go to marginal costing. Maybe we can hide this one. Can hide here because we're done with this one. Yep, then let's unhide for marginal costing. Marginal cost income statement. The sales still going to be the same. 9,000 units, 35 maluti. Cost of sales, there's no opening inventory. Generally, is 11,000. And now we are going to value with our marginal cost of 25. 25 our labor. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, so we are still making a mistake. So for material is still going to be 11,000 units by 12 per unit. 
our labor is still going to be 11,000 units by eight malut. Then the variable overhead will still be 11,000 by five. So this will give us so much. This will give us 275. Then closing inventory. The closing inventory is the one that we are going to value using our marginal cost. So it's 2,000 units, right? Then we are going to value using the marginal cost in five. So this gives us this gives us cost of sales of this much. So now let's see this 350 minus this 225 with 90,000. So now we have to deduct all our variable costs from our sales to get the contribution. So variable selling cost, variable selling cost is one per unit. So let's delete them here. So if it's one per unit, then it's going to be so 9,000 units, so one per unit is going to be 9,000. So our contribution is going to be how much? 9,000 minus. Our contribution is going to be 81,000. So now under our marginal costing, we take out the fixed cost as period cost. So the fixed cost for production and selling, let's see. So for production is 20,000 maluti, and then for selling is two. Thousand malut. So let's deal with them. For here is two thousand, and then for here is two thousand malut. So our actual net profit here is going to be our contribution. Then less the fixed cost is going to be fifty nine thousand. Yep, it's fifty nine thousand. So now let me unhide for absorption costing so that we can see the difference. So you see the actual net profit for marginal costing is 59,000 and the actual profit for the actual profit for absorption costing is 63,000. So what's the difference? So the difference is 4,000, of course, right? So now let's see how we get to the difference. So the only thing that is making the difference in profits is because under absorption costing, we have valued our closing inventory using the total cost for absorption costing, which means that the cost of inventory will be charged against profits of the, the profits of the following period. That is to say the, the profits for absorption costing and marginal costing will differ by that amount. So now let's see whether we have increase or decrease in inventory. We had no open inventory and then our closing inventory is 2000 units. So that means if we have 2000 units and then the fixed overheads were valued at two per unit. So this is going to be the difference between our profits. This is 4,000. So profit consolation is here. Absorption costing profits of 63. Then marginal costing profits of 59. So the difference here being minus 59, which will be 4,000. So this difference of 4,000 Malut is actually the one that we see is because of the movement in inventory in the cost, the inventory under marginal costing being valued using the marginal cost while the one under absorption costing being reducing the, the total absorption cost of course of 27. So I believe all you're all comfortable with what you've covered so far 
if you have missed something you may rewind the video back or comment your question below uh, till next time we'll see please remember to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed we'll be having more and more videos for management accounting here bye bye